December is historically one of the slowest times for the housing market. Today we're going to be talking about why this December might be even slower and why that might be a good thing for some savvy buyers, so stay tuned. What's up guys and welcome back. If you're brand new to the channel, my name's Alex Dumas. I'm a licensed realtor in Massachusetts and New Hampshire with Keller Williams. I put out videos aiming to be your real estate resource here on the North Shore of Massachusetts and in Southern New Hampshire. And today we're gonna to be doing a housing market update for the month of December. We're gonna be looking at interest rates, inventory levels, the overall outlook of the market, and something interesting that's been happening in the housing market. As always, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button, but we're gonna get started. We're gonna kick it off with interest rates. Today's rates are sitting right around 6.6% for the average of 30 year fixed rate mortgage. Rates took a slight dip a couple weeks ago, but still sit in the, around the 7% range. There's no way of knowing for certain, but interest rates are expected to continue to go up over the next few months. The latest news from the Fed is they expect to keep raising interest rates for the foreseeable future, though the amount that they're raising them by is going to be tapered off. The best guess as of now is sometime around the middle of next year, the middle of 2023, the Fed uh, is expected to pivot with their monetary policy and maybe even start reducing rates. I just want to reiterate, I know I've mentioned it before, but I want to say it again. Uh, the federal funds rate and mortgage rates are different. The federal funds rate is the rate at which banks borrow money. But something to keep in mind, if it costs banks more to borrow money, it's going to cost you more to borrow money as well. So they do kind of go up uh, with one another. So just keep that in mind when you hear that the Fed is raising rates. When will rates come back down? Probably not for a while. We might see temporary dips in interest rates, but the same factors that caused interest rates to increase so quickly in 2022 are most likely sticking around for 2023 as well. Stubborn inflation, large rate hikes from the Fed, supply chain issues, and general volatility and uncertainty in the market all play a role in mortgage rates going up or down. Industry leaders expect mortgage rates to be anywhere from 5.5 all the way up to 9.5 in 2023. So there's a large discrepancy in the market. We don't know for sure where interest rates are gonna end up, but it's a pretty good bet that they're not gonna go much below where we are right now and that they'll actually probably go up. But what we do know is that today's rates are historically still very competitive. So if you are thinking of purchase a home, then it's not a bad time to lock in a rate as long as you plan on staying there for a few years. Inflation numbers did come back a little bit better last month than it had the previous months, and it has shown some signs of slowing. This is a good sign for interest rates. This combined with the Fed's plan on pivoting their monetary policy sometime in the middle of next year means that we might see interest rates peak sometime around uh, the summertime or maybe even late spring and then eventually start to slowly come down towards the end of the year but don't expect to see rates in the threes again anytime soon the bottom line is mortgage rates are up and they will remain up for the time being but if you can afford it right now and you plan on staying in your home for at least five years then it is still a good time to buy Inventory levels. New listings are down about 7% from the same time last year. Inventory has been building over the last couple of months, but it's just not enough yet to combat uh, an entire year's worth of shortage. This is the biggest problem facing buyers right now, even more so than interest rates. It's just the lack of inventory. This also discourages sellers from moving or listing their home because there's less options on the market for them as well if they do want to sell and move. But as interest rates rise, we do expect the inventory levels to continue to climb as some buyers just decide to wait. And the last thing I wanna talk about today is something that I'm seeing more and more over the past couple of months, and that's sellers offering concessions at closing to help buy down interest rates. And this is something that savvy buyers are taking advantage of because it can really make a difference with your monthly payments and your mortgage. There's something that a lot of lenders are starting to offer and it's called a 2-1 buy down. So in a 2-1 buy down, you're basically temporarily buying down your rate. So for the first year, it's bought down by 2% of what they quoted you at. And then the following year, it drops down by 1%. And then on the third year, it goes back to the original amount. So for example, if you were, if you got a 7% interest rate, the first year would be 5%, the second year would be 6%, and then the year after that for the term of the loan would go back to 7%. The idea here is that interest rates are higher right now than they expect to be in a couple years. So then you can refinance in a couple years once rates come back down. That's a great option for buyers and a lot of sellers are offering to pay for this 2-1 buy down or to at least partially pay in the form of seller concessions. It can bring your monthly payment down substantially from where it would be at the full interest rate. This is just one of the things that buyers are doing to, to combat higher interest rates. Again, I wanna reiterate, interest rates right now are historic, historically still really good rates. We're at about oh, a little over six and a half, just under 7%. Uh, we do expect it to keep going up about 7% by the end of the year, but these are still pretty good rates 
Um, it's not as good as 3%. People just got used to the really low interest rates that we had for the past couple of years. But the market is shifting. It's turning into a more healthy market as far as uh, equaling out between sellers and buyers. We're not seeing the crazy sellers market that we were seeing for the past couple of years anymore. Things are not going for crazy over asking, waving off contingencies. Home inspections are coming back. So overall, the market is just getting healthier and buyers and sellers are on a more equal playing field. With that said, still very much so a seller's market. So if you're thinking of selling, uh, it's still a really good time. You'll still get top dollar for your home. But I wanna wrap this up with, is it still a good time to buy? The answer is yes, but only if you plan on selling your home for at least a few years. If you plan on moving in in the near future, then it might be better for you to wait for the time being because we are in that kind of transitionary period right now with the market where interest rates are in flux and there isn't a lot of inventory. So it just might be in your best interest to wait this out if you do plan on moving in sometime soon. But only you can answer that question, but I'm here to help in any way that I can and provide any information. If you have any questions about what's going on in the market, if you're thinking about making a move, then make sure you drop a comment, shoot me a DM, send me an email. I'll be more than happy to chat with you and help in any way I can. But thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you all next time.